As you know, we've got four modes of live streaming. We've got selfie mode, we've got indie mode, we've got desktop mode, and we've got broadcast mode. Now, I've come up here to my church. I wanted to show you how we're using the third mode, which is desktop mode, and how I've been trying to maximize it to upgrade the quality of our live stream. Our church has had very limited budget and over the years has not been upgrading a lot of our video equipment. In fact, you can see here in the room behind our sanctuary, we've got a lot of old analog broadcast hardware. This is great stuff 20 years ago. However, today the quality level is just way too low. Now, we have been maximizing it over the past several years and doing the best we can with what we have. When I came up here, one of the things I noticed was that we had started live streaming, but the quality was really low. What we've been doing has been taking an analog signal coming out of our wonderful Panasonic high def camcorder and sending it into a standard definition capture device which was using FireWire to connect to our iMac and then stream out using Flash Media Encoder. It does not get more basic than that. We were having internet problems and so at some point somebody lowered the quality of the stream down to about 500K, which is basically VHS level. The fact that we're using an analog signal coming out of our high def camcorder and then streaming at a very low quality just wasn't helping the church put its best foot forward. A lot of people are now going to the church's website, taking a look at the live stream, taking a look at the podcast, the recordings, and if they're seeing low quality, it may turn them off. They're not able to see the full value that we have here. So what I did was brought my MacBook Pro up here, I brought a Blackmagic Studio mini recorder, and I hooked up an HDMI cable going from our camera into the Blackmagic recorder. I then got a webcam and hooked it up and have been using it as a wide angle shot. For us, having a wide shot is all we've ever really needed with that one camera, and it just helps to break up the visual monotony of the single camera that we do have. So we do have now two cameras, the wide shot, which is a webcam, and the HD camera going in through the Blackmagic device. And that has increased the quality of our live stream and the recordings, which I've been recording on an SD card while I've been doing the broadcast. Now we've been using the OBS software, Open Broadcast Software, which is free and open source broadcasting and streaming software that you can download at the link below. Now OBS is free, but it's not elegant, okay? And that's kind of the trade-off. It is developed by a lot of other people and it has very basic functionality. It lets you set up multiple scenes. You can have multiple sources. You can layer, you can put in lower thirds, you can do all that sort of stuff, but it lacks the elegance and finesse that something like Wirecast does. However, Wirecast does cost close to 600 bucks and OBS is free. Now, when you have a budget constraint, the best thing to do is, like I said, start off with what you have. Our church had very limited hardware that was capable of high def streaming, but they did have the camera. So I was able to bring in my laptop, a couple of pieces of hardware that I already had and get us going. I've got links to the hardware and software below for what we're currently using here. You can grow this or shrink it as much as you need, as much as your budget will allow. Just want to encourage you to maximize what you have and try to put your best foot forward. If you have any questions about how to set this up, be sure to take a look at the tutorials. Be sure to talk to us in the Facebook group and let us know what you're doing.